Is my screen visible? Yeah, you can show. Should I start, sir? Yeah, you can show. Okay. So good evening, everyone. My name is Akash, and I am from Web Developer Web Developers Group. And uh, the pro my project name is Real Time Stock Market Data Web Web Application. And the name of the task is Overview of Project Synopsis. So let's begin the presentation. So this is the table of the contents. So first and foremost, I will be giving you the project overview and its introduction. And then there on, I will be discussing the tech stack used in developing this project. And after that, I will be discussing uh, about the different uh, development stages which were involved in uh, making this project. And then I will give you the website demo and I will also show you the documentation. And after that, I will give, uh, I will talk about the challenges faced and the conclusion of the project. And thereon, I will be showing you the references and followed by that, the doubt section. So let's move ahead. So first, the project overview. So what are basically stocks? So to give you an idea, uh, let me tell you something. Uh, like, uh, let's say if you want to uh, invest or start a particular food venture, and for that, you need a funding. And then for funding, you will approach a bank. So from the bank, you will get the necessary funding and you can, let's say you will open a branch in one of your locality. Let's say your business works fine and now you want to expand your project, your uh, this uh, startup. And now let's say you want to expand it in your state. So now banks funding will not be, uh, will not be, uh, I would say, uh, uh, will not uh, meet to your needs. So now you will approach someone higher who will provide you more funding. So now comes the role of uh, uh, angel investors. So now angel investor will provide you the funding once your business is expanded. And now let's say your business is further expanded to your country. So now even the investment by the angel investor will not be necessary, uh, will not be uh, to that mark. So now uh, comes the venture capitalist. Now they will invest in your uh, this startup and now so that uh, you get the necessary funding. So at last, let's say you want to go global for your startup. Now, even the investment by the venture cap capitalist will not be necessary. So now here, what comes to play is known as initial public offering. So basically now you approach the public to raise funding for your company. So, so basically stocks are basically shares or equities that gives you the ownership in a particular company. So basically you will have a, a share in that company. So, so you can buy these uh, stocks during the initial public uh, opening, or if not, you have not purchased at that time, then you, uh, then you can also trade these stocks afterward, afterwards in different stock exchanges, like the Bombay Stock Exchange or the National Stock Exchange for India, or different countries have different stock exchanges, like New York Stock Exchange for America, or you can trade them in 
different uh, online uh, platforms like upstocks or growth platform in case of india so this is this is all about stocks and talking about the pros and cons uh, stocks have a very high potential of giving you a, a high amount of profit uh, given that you have uh, done the market analysis and all that stuff and it is often uh, seen that it outperforms bonds and real estate in terms of profits and it 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 is a highly liquid asset so you can easily purchase and sell stocks very easily so talking about the cons of trading so the way, the way, where i would say the value of the stocks it fluctuate very often so it is very difficult to predict uh, its uh, value and it uh, those who have invested a large amount of uh, money in stocks uh, their their slide so their money can be in a really a problem so it is often difficult to predict the the stock market uh, prices and you can often face a uh, huge amount of loss i would say and it also required a huge amount of uh, uh, efforts and time to predict a diff to predict and analyze the market and it definitely requires a lot amount of efforts and i would say time so let's move ahead so what is basically real time stock market data so basically uh, it is a full stack web application and it will provide you the real time stock market data and uh, this this data will include the different uh, parameters of the stock like the volume in which the trade is current trade is going on volume of the stock or the or the price in which the stock has opened today or the closing price of the stock and different other parameters so and this all will be dis will be displayed in, in a easy to understand format so basically different charts and responsive designs will be used in this and uh, this uh, this chart will help us to analyze the uh, value of the stock and its different historical data and there on you can make the make a informed investing decision so also in this website you can also create a pro portfolio of its stocks and you can keep a track of those stocks i would say and uh, this website will also be uh, providing you different tools research tools with which you can analyze the data like if it will provide you filters so that you can filter a particular stock based upon some criteria let's say so it is all about that site and this site can be used by the investors traders and other other financial professionals to make informed decisions about buying and selling so uh, and some of the example are yahoo finance google finance and bloomberg terminal so these are some of the notable features of this website so first is it is the responsive design so as our website is accessible to each and every user who which has a uh, i would say a internet connection so it and it is accessible in any device so it is very important that it should have a responsive design so our website has a responsive design and it is easy to use on different devices and other feature is the real time stock data so it it is very clear that it pulls real time stock market data using different apis in this case it is the alpha vantage api and also it pulls the real time uh, financial news using the news api so and it, it converts that into a format that is easy to interpret by the user so it does that and the uh, the security and authentication of the user is that most pr priority and our web application has the feature such as the user authentication to ensure that user data is protected so you see it has different data like the stock state of the user its personal information so this feature is also included for uh, ensuring the security of that user data so now i will be discussing the tech stack which is used in this project so in the front end part basically majorly react is used along with the html and css so react has basically the features in which the components are divided in uh, in which the ui components are divided into uh, different components and states which makes it easier to manage and um, manage debug and write code in a easy to read format so so that that is why for, for front end react is used and for the back end part node js and mongo db is used so what i would say that in these uh, in the database part uh, it will this uh, A database frameworks will be used to store the information about the uh, different users all the users which are currently using our website and their portfolio and which will include the different stock data it will have 
and talking about the APIs, this news API is used to fetch real-time news information. And this Alpha Vantage API is used to fetch uh, real-time stock information. So talking about the development stages. So first and foremost is stage one, that is a planning and the requirement gathering stage. So in basically in the planning phase, uh, you, you uh, like find out what all will be the stakeholders in your website who are going to be benefited from your website. So in our case, it would be different uh, uh, investing agencies like that invest in different stocks, let's say mutual funds and those and the traders who invest on short term basis for making profit or the financial news agencies that analyze the stock market data to make the financial news headings. So all those will be the stakeholders for our website. And we also uh, discuss the, uh, we also make a timing of our project in this planning phase so that our project can be divided into different subtasks and it is easier to manage these tasks. And also the budget is decided in this planning phase. And uh, in the, uh, it, and moving on to the next stage, that is the design phase. So in the design phase, basically you de uh, design different prototypes and design of your website and you come out with the best uh, uh, design that uh, that is pleasing to the eye. And so all the front end part is done in the design phase. And then moving on to the development phase. So basically this is the phase where actually the code is written. So the code for the front end and the back end part is written here. and uh, the integration of the front end and back end is also done in this um, stage and also the api is also integrated with the uh, with the front end and the back end in this stage only then then after that once you have completed the development phase then comes the testing phase so testing phase is really important uh, point in, in developing the website as it will help in testing uh, that your how much your we website is actually functional it is used to test the 100% functionality of your website. So there are like different techniques to do the unit testing. Like you, if you want to test a particular single component, you can do unit testing. And also if you want to test the as whole entire system as a, as a complete system, so you can do the system testing for that. And if you want to test how different components collaborate and work with each other, you can do the integration testing in that case. And then, Uh, at at last uh, is the uh, plan is the sorry I'm not able so at last it is the uh, deployment and the maintenance uh, stage so basically in deployment once you have developed the uh, complete website it, the website is made available to the user so in the deployment phase uh, the server infrastructure is developed as well as the uh, data is config database is configured at the deployment phase and the website is finally made available to the different users and then comes the maintenance phase so it is basically the technical support uh, technical support stage where wherein the different bugs and errors that comes to the website are fixed and uh, and different uh, updates are also brought to the website once as time passes and as per the requirement of the users so these were all the project stages so you can see this is the front end of my website. So this is the sign up button. It will be used by the user to log in and register. And this is the portfolio page, portfolio option. From here using him view his or her, uh, his user can view the stocks which he has added into his portfolio. And this is the news option. Here user can watch the real time financial news. And these are all the list of stocks for which user can see the real time data. So once he clicks on get data, all the dead data will be displayed in this website. So you can see these are all the plots which are currently displayed like the, for this green power motor company stock. So we have an option to download the Excel file. So here in this Excel file, all different types of parameters like the opening, closing price of the stock for a particular day or the high low price for the stock, all these data will be fetched into Excel file. And this is one of the line chart, which is uh, plotted using um, lightweight JavaScript, JavaScript library. So you can see the open price is being plotted for different days for this stock. And this is a table. So it is also uh, printed using lightweight chart uh, JavaScript library. 
and it, you can see different parameters are plotted for different stocks. And this is uh, one of uh, the chart. Uh, this is the candlestick chart, and it depicts the low high prices again in in the form of candlesticks, and it is used to uh, analyze the stock prices uh, in any in any time frame, like for monthly, daily, or yearly basis. So this is the real time news which is being uh, displayed using the news API. So you can see a user can view the real time financial news using this option. So now I will give you the website demo. So you can see this is my website. So oh, this is the this is my navigation bar. You can see home button, about button, and this is the option to view the real time financial news. And this is the port portfolio button, and this is the sign up option. And this is the drop down for different stocks for which you can use view the data and plots. So let's fetch. Let's say for Microsoft. So you can see here different. I'll give you a demo now. Let me deploy the site. So now you can see this site. So let's fetch a data for this talk. So once you uh, click on get data, this stock uh, data and tables are being displayed here. You can see this is the line chart I discussed earlier. It plots, plots the different open prices against the different dates. And it is again a table which is displayed using a JavaScript library. And it also uh, again plots the real time stock data, the volume of the stock which is currently being uh, traded in the market and all the different type of uh, opening, closing and high low prices of the stock. And this is the candlestick chart. So you can see here the user can do the historical data analysis. It has, uh, I would say, about uh, information of, of uh, 20 past years. And it has all, all this data plotted in candlesticks as a candlestick information. You can, you can see the red ones are the one where the, the stock uh, witnessed a drop in the prices for that day. And the green ones are the are those where the stock uh, witnessed a I would say uh, increase in the stock prices. So these are all the candlesticks uh, chart. And this is the latest news. So I let's say once you click on news, you reach to this part where you can see real time uh, financial news you can see from here and different headlines are plotted along with the link if you want to visit the actual article. So we have the link also to visit the actual article. So like this real time uh, news also is being displayed using the news API. So that is all about the uh, website demo. So let's head back to our presentation. So that was all about website demo. So now let's see the documentation once. So you see, this is my software requirement specification documentation. This is the front page. And then there on, you see, this is the index table and it um, highlights the different, uh, uh, I would say content of this SRS documentation and uh, the user uh, can jump to any particular part depending upon its interest. So once you can, you can refer to this index table. And here, uh, this in the introduction part, I have discussed the purpose of my website. Here, as I discussed earlier, uh, what are the different features of our, my website and how all and what it actually does. It is all displays, displayed in this uh, introduction. And then I have talked about the in intended, or intended audience of my website. And uh, you see these, the individual investors who uh, invest for making profits 
those are the stakeholders or the active traders who again uh, gain profit in short time uh, are one of our stakeholders also the financial advisors that gives financial advice to uh, their clients they also can use our website for making the real uh, stock data analysis and the institutional investors that take that invest the people's money in different stocks they also use they also will use our website for a real time uh, analysis and the financial journalists that are working for a news organization they also will be using our website and also the developers and testers that are going to develop this website for them this srs will prove to be a, a really helpful tool in developing this website and there on i will i have talked about the reading suggestions and like how you should go go about reading this srs like you should start with this uh, table of contents wherein you can jump to any particular part of your interest and also uh, the, uh, i have provided you the uh, uh, read uh, it is important that you should read the introduction part so that you should understand well what is the scope of this project and what its project is actually going to achieve and also i have then uh, mentioned to read the non functional requirements of this project and also i have mentioned to pay attention to different assumption and constraint which are made during uh, developing this um, srs so also if you want to get an additional reference you can also check different references used by me which i mentioned in the last also now talking about the description i have given the product perspective how different uh, interfaces of this website are related to each other uh, that is being discussed in this product perspective so talking about the system interfaces we have different interfaces in this website like the database email or the api interface so i have uh, talked about that in brief and how they both and they all are integrated with each other and talking about the hardware interface there is no as such a uh, requirement for the hardware uh, anyone with the internet connection can access this website with very ease so that was all about hardware interface and for the software interface i have written about the what all tech stack is used for developing this website like the front end part react html css and for the back end node express and mongodb is used and for the api i have used alpha vantage api and the news api so it talks about that stuff and then i have talked about the user interface and how this website will be made accessible on multiple devices such as such as desktop laptop tablets and uh, smartphones and uh, how and my website has a user friendly interface and it will allow investors and traders to interact with the system easily so that was all about user interface then uh, i have talked about the product features so these are basically all the product features like the login features like a user should be able to uh, log in using a email id and password so these are these are the features for the admin so our website is basically going to have a admin also that is going to manage all the users and their personal information so that admin will going will be having a email id and password and accordingly he can log into his account and he can view he has option to view all the users and he can download the all the users in a excel sheet so he has that uh, power and he can then log out there will be option provided to him to log out from the website and then uh, talking about the feature which are made available to the user so this was uh, the features of the admin and about the users the users will have a home page where he can as i have given you the demo he can see all the stock prices charts and data and can analyze the data in real time in a easy to understand format so in home page all that uh, features will be placed at one particular place and he will be have the access for the new news section where he can view the uh, real time news and also he will have the option to edit his profile where he can add different uh, personal communication and details also he he will have the option to uh, manage and track the his portfolio he can add different stocks and uh, to his uh, portfolio and can track its prices and any particular trend in that stock and also i talked about the uh, responsive design of my website in this case and uh, i have also now discussed the operating environment so the, our website will work in linux or a mac system or uh, in windows and any, any of these three environments and for a web server web server side scripting i have used node js and express for this website and uh, and browser that will be compatible for our website are chrome and firefox and safari and also microsoft edge and uh, the database requirement is the mongodb database and the frameworks used for front end is react 
and talking about the testing frameworks. As we know that I have used, uh, we will be using React in this um, development of the front end. So Zest will be used for its testing as uh, Zest uh, is really uh, integrates well with React and does uh, a really good good job in testing uh, React's app. And also Super Test is used for testing the backend APIs. So it works really well with uh, testing the APIs. So these are two the testing frameworks. Then these are all basic system requirements about uh, RAM and uh, CPU processing. And then I have uh, discussed the functional requirement like the user shall be able to register himself, view the home page and news section, and manage all its portfolio. And I've talked about how admin will be able to access web portal by his credential, and he shall be able to add or modify the different user details in the website. And also admin shall be able to download the list of all the users. So that is all I have discussed in the functional requirement. So um, these were the function. And then in the interface requirements, uh, again, I have discussed uh, like the inter hardware interface requirement, no specific requirement, just an internet connection. And in software interfaces, uh, just um, a web browser is required with uh, uh, a stable internet connection. And uh, then I have discussed all on the communication interfaces. And then talking, I have also now discussed on the non-functional requirements of my website. So it, uh, it has talked on uh, some aspects of non-functional requirements like the security, maintainability, and the portability. So these three features I've discussed and how this website is made available to the user 24 by seven and uh, seeing the security aspects, how, uh, email based OTP will be used or in future you can all, we can also use Google authorization feature for the security purpose and, um, and that's all about the non-functional uh, requirements and then the database requirements. So here you can see uh, we will be having a table in our database for the register part, registration part here. It will have these features where use and so this table will be used for the registration purpose and uh, email based OTP uh, registry uh, uh, this registration will be done initially and once he has re registered you can see it will he will have an email id and password once user is registered for the website and then he also once if he forgets password then also we have um, we have a table in database and then this is all the database requirements and then we also have a um, the database table where the, all the user information will be stored is email ID, password, registration ID, the hard card number, and all other stuff of the user. And also the table for the admin wherein his information like the his email ID and password will be stored. And also the portfolio table where the, you can see this is the stocks column where the different stocks which are kept in a particular portfolio by a particular user will be kept. So this is all the database requirement. Then just, this is just a, use, a general user description that talks out how different interactive elements of our website will make it use, easier for the user to analyze the different stock market on data. So this is the task overflow and I have talked about how my project will progress. So I have assigned different tasks to different uh, weeks like in week one the SRS document is prepared and in week two we'll basically design the work breakdown structure. So that our project is divided into different subtasks and it is easy to manage and tackle individual tasks. And then I will talk, I have talked about how in week two we'll like uh, complete some of these tasks, like we'll set up the basic login and si sign up activity and we'll host it, host our website. And also the database setup and user authentication will be done in this week two. And also in as we move on to week three, we'll set up the profile page as well as the home page and in the week four we'll design the portfolio page news page and the about page and in week five involves integrating the api response of uh, the api with the front end part and after we have done done this in week six we will improve the front end and ui overall and we'll add any features which we felt that may have been left out and we we'll also debug uh, some of the um, errors that comes uh, in the process and we'll overall structure the code and different files. And in the last uh, week, we'll work on the testing side and formatting of all the documents. And at last, we'll deploy our website. So these are the references that were used in my, uh, de designing my uh, SRS. So I have ref referenced this Geek of Geeks article for developing a website, and I have referenced this um, uh, how how to read the candlestick reference to understand how the how the candlestick plot is being read. 
and also have a reference this news uh, API to understand how that uh, news API is being integrated to fetch real time news um, API. So that is all about my documentation demo. So let's move back to presentation. So now talking about the challenges with data face during the developing website. So as you can see, lots of traders and uh, financial investors they invest a large amount of money. So ensuring the validity of data resources is a challenge in this website. So to ensure that the uh, that the resource from where we are so source from where we are fetching the data is uh, is correct and it it gives a data that is real that is in real time correct and it is not any vague data so that was a challenge so choosing the correct resource for the data is is a challenge and other challenge was formatting the real time news fetched from the news api so once the news is being fetched using the news api so uh, editing it and formatting in such a way that user finds it in a easy to read manner and it appears appealing to eye was a challenge and uh, different uh, um, front end designs were used to like um, put it in place and it appears appealing to the eye and also converting the stock data to charts and plots was a challenge as i have discussed earlier the different charts like the candlestick chart being used so it was it was developed using different uh, javascript libraries and to ensure that the and a different axes of the charts are, are are highlighted properly and the data data points are are in accordance with the data which is fetched and it is not any vague data so that was a challenge one of the challenge and and the last challenge was the user authentication security as the user security and authentication is the utmost priority so it was a major challenge so for the time being our website will have the email based otp login and I, as time progress we can also uh, incorporate Google authorization in our website. So uh, talking about the conclusion. So uh, I think our project will meet the will meet its uh, goals def def definitely and it, it has uh, like addressed the needs of the investors and by providing them all the up to date market data and user can now definitely make an informed investing decision and can earn uh, prof some profit through it. And it has also a very user friendly interface and uh, it has different features like the real time stock prices, uh, data analysis, and it has it is displaying the historical trends and it is also showing the news and analysis. So it all these uh, features are ma made available in a user friendly interface and a user find it very easy to analyze different data and make um, its um, investing decisions. And also, uh, at last, uh, in the future scope, like we can also incorporate ML ML features into our website, like sentiment analysis, so that we can uh, analyze the social media social media sentiments and news, so that it provides insight into the market trends and the investors' sentiments. So that is all about the conclusion. And these are all the couple of references and resources I have used, like the news API documentation or um. Uh, these are all discussed in the documentation as well. So uh, thank you all. And uh, if you have any question, please go ahead. Thank you, sir. Thank you, so I hope uh, your presentation is done. Yes, sir, it's done. Okay. See, really good presentation, I would say. This is one of the best presentation I have seen for this particular topic. Uh, but there are some little bit of like you know improvements that you can do. see your story that you started was good the explanation was also good but the thing is work on your presentation skills so when what I mean to say is instead of just saying let us see look at the introduction and then uh, like you know just listing out things you can start by giving a proper introduction of yourself as well as the introduction of task. And then you can say, okay, let's start with, let's look at the table of content and then you can move on. Okay, and also the story uh, can be improved because let us say if you are uh, explaining about the stock market uh, data or like the stock market in general, because your project is based on the stock market, but there should be a base that like, you know, supports your story, like why we are looking at a story based on the stock market. That will be a simple reason can be like, uh, you want to explore stock market before you work on a project that is related to stock market, right? So that when, okay, you, have, when you have already uh, like you know, experienced 
how a stock market website works, you will have much better idea. Right? You can okay, include sir. those things also. Uh, because in somewhere in your project, you have mentioned that uh, uh, the ad, there will be an admin panel where they can download the information of users as a list. Yes, right? sir, yes, sir. So I yes, sir. that may not be a great uh, feature, right? Because uh, let us say if I am a financial institute and I have your financial data, what, where you are spending, what you are spending, and if I'm able to download that data, that will not be really good, right? You will not be happy about that, right? So I, by that I meant just meant the user information like his uh, address and all. I did not meant the. It's, no, it's that should not be a possible okay, sir. getting okay, user sir. information like if let us say i have an admin panel let us say i'm an admin in a company right now okay, uh, in a company there will be an uh, a few like you know dedicated department which will work be working on the verification of a user right so that very user is yeah, very yes, fair and it is not about who is like you know working on our website but i would not like to have like you know a developer or someone with the admin privilege to look at the user data right so okay. that should be like you know a closed uh, source thing that only and only few people can like you know look at it and that should be hard so it is good to have those kind of feature but you need to explain what those feature will be and what is the extent of those feature like what is the limitation of those feature right so that uh, okay, you are like you know uh, be, uh, like uh, the users data should not be that simply accessible okay so be more specific about that and also when you are spraying like you will use react node and everything see it is true that we have told you to use react but the goal of the project is also to understand why these things like you know we are using it right and i think okay, we, we're not really able to explain those things like you said yeah we will use the uh, react can have a component based design right so that uh, you can yes, make it. but in your demonstration yes, itself you showed that when i click on the news button i will go on news and then when i click on this button this will show right you were not really able to under explain the con uh, like you know the component part of the react there as okay, well as sir. how the overall backend is working when you are like clicking on the button what is happening in the backend like how the actual data flow is working when like you know the user is interacting with your website okay. And this should be included. So let us say when uh, you are currently working on a project alone, but let us say if a group of people are working with you and if they look at this presentation and you are able to explain everything correctly, then they can directly start working on this project, right? They can easily just yes, pick up uh, the project and then start working on it. Or let us say they will be able to understand what are the different components and uh, what are the particular things they need to work on. Let us say there are five people. We can like you know uh, split the entire thing in the five part and they will be able to understand that. So work on okay. your project demonstration uh, part also. In the project demonstration was really well done. Okay, But I believe it can be more in-depth, right? So that uh, we are like you know focusing more on the backend part also, and also on the yes. design part and uh, other things about the front end. Uh, they can be also like you know uh, we can explain a bit more about that because see it is only a prototype website, right? So you have included a prototype, you have included a document, which is a really really great thing. Okay, you get like hundred percent on that, uh, but when you most of your i believe explanation was actually in the documentation now documentation is only there so that your team can look at it and then pick up uh, like you know what uh, the things what is going on okay. most of the things that you have included in the documentation it should be included in the ppt that is what i felt like because there were a lot of important things that you have discussed in the document and i believe if it was in the ppt it would be much better right so okay, also next time see what things can be included in the ppt that will be much better because i can see you have really great content in the actual documentation and if it was included in the ppt your overall like you know content would have been much better okay? sure, sure. so see you uh, you have like you know a talent for presentation you are doing really uh, great job just uh, what i would recommend is make a script Practice on it and yes, then sir. proofread it yes, and see like what improvements can be done and then give the presentation. You will perform much, much better. Okay. 
So okay. And also the con see what content can be included in the PPT and what content should be in the documentation itself. Okay. Because uh, there was a lot of good uh, content in the documentation itself. I really felt like your documentation was much better. And also the way you have created the documentation, there is also part two of this same task, and that is project timeline. Your documentation will really much easy, make it much, much easier for you to work on that task itself because you have actually already worked on most of the timeline thing. So it uh, that will be really easy for you. Okay, so great documentation. Also, also the prototype yes. was much better, but uh, I think you can also explain what are the like you know, future uh, development uh, or future uh, things that you can do with the actual design, right? So yes, you can make a simple wireframe of that and show it in the PPT itself. So let us say right now you have a drop down list and get option. In future, what are the other things you can uh, have? Let us say having a search feeder that is really simple or having a favorite section where I can uh, make a list of favorite shops and get news or information on that particular shop. Itself, right? So these yes, things sir. can be uh, like they can be discussed in the conclusion part itself. Okay, so conclusion okay, can be improved, and overall your PPT formatting can also improve, right? So, uh, okay, can you go on the conclusion part? Conclusion sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. See the text color and the background color are like you know almost same, right? So yes, sir, the visibility is not that uh, great. Okay, so work on how the fonts are there, what is the size of the font, and what is the overall like you know, coloring structure. Try to okay. follow color palette, and also the fonts can be improved. See, I'm telling you this because you can like you know make a really great presentation, and if you just touch on these simple little things, it will make your overall experience of the present uh, presentation for your viewers much better. Right, the readability will be much better as well as the content that they will be seeing, it will be much better. Right, see, because you had good content that I can just read and I can pick up what you are trying to explain. Right, so that is the point yes, of presentation, and you were able to achieve that really well. Right, but uh, work on yes, the sir. formatting part itself. Okay, okay, that will be much better. Okay, so keep up with the good work. Uh, you will perform much better in the next presentation. I think. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Akash. Uh, so you can stop the screen now. Uh, we'll move Thank on you, to sir. Sahil. Uh, please turn your cameras. Hello, sir. Please turn it. Hello. Yes, sir. So from where I do So from where I can do it? Uh, you are sharing the screen, right? Oh, so sure. at the top yes. of your screen, if you hover your mouse, you will see the option. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. I my batch is 16th my batch and I'm web developer group student. So my is project outline for for the real time stock market data web application. And so in this presentation, I I have covered the following topics like requirement to what actually task is assigned to me and introduction part. Then we will see about the website functionalities. Then we will see about the tools and technology. Then we see about the Gantt chart and then we conclude then the conclusion part and references. So first is the requirement. So in this topic, we have to create the project timelines for building a real time web application. Like when we start with any new project, first of all, we need to be very careful and we need to be very clear about the project timeline and what is the workflow that is going to be. So for that, I today I have created a project timelines and the total time that is assigned to me is the two months. Okay, so and we will I will also show it using the Gantt chart introduction part. So real time stock market web application is a web based application which provides user with the real time stock market data. And in this 
in this website the user can find the following information like uh, opening and closing price of the stock background of the company total volume of the stocks that are traded at a particular day or a particular month dividend amount that any company pays or the that can and the users can also find the relevant news about the stocks so first is the website functionalities so in the, in our website we have we would have user authentication system because we are using the premium we, when we will use the premium version of the apis then we must use authenticate the user so before accessing such functionalities the user must be logged in and user and in our website the user will see the all the data with the graphical representation so that they could easily analyze and we could also provide the functionality like the filling the stocks information like uh, here i have shown like the opening and closing price so we should have given the functionality like uh, they can filter it on the basis of days months or year they can see the opening and closing price on the at a particular time span and also about the company's information like uh, date on company this information are very crucial to for the user to to do a better investment so whatever task description is provided to us i have extracted all the all the text all the tech that we can use for this website so for the front end we are allowed to use the react js and for the styling we can use the css and css for the back end we are allowed to use the node js and xps we can use the mongodb and here we will store the data of users for the authentication we can use the json web token password.js and as we are showing the data using the graphical representation so for that we can use the d3.js and chart.js for the apis we have used two apis one is alpha ventas api and another is news api alpha ventas api is for getting the stocks information and news api for getting the news related to the companies and then at the end we have the hosting so for that we could use the aws or heroku and as we are providing the real time data so we could use the web sockets for providing the real time updates to the user because it is very crucial for the users for the investment so here is the gantt chart and i have shown it i have created it in the excel so first of all there are tasks there are eight tasks for eight weeks duration for each task and they can also update their percentage of task completed this is for the first week then the task is going to be taking the complete week two for three it is completed taking the three and it's same as it is going to be it as we will click on here so it is showing what we are going to do on the day one for on the day one so week one so we will learn about the basic reactions and we will set up the environment for the development purpose so that's the our task and for the second week what we are going to see about see about the styling of the website and authentication system and learning about the jwt and password.js then we will move to the task 3 and and in this third week we have to understand the alpha ventas api for that we can refer to the documentation and display the data from the alpha ventas api wow. then we will move to the task 4 in this we will add a search functionality to our website so that user can find the information about the any company by searching in the search console and then we will the testing and debugging and for that we have two framework one is the just and other is the enzyme and for week 5 we will now we have learned about the alpha ventas api now we have extract the data we have extract the data from the api now we will visualize this data using the w3js and chart.js and also because user can enter any information any name on the search so we will have so have to handle such kind of errors so in week 6 we are create work start working on the back end and for the back end we have node js and express js and here we will create all the user authentication apis and for week 7 now up to 
now i we have we have created the alpha we have integrated the alpha vintage api for the stocks information now for the company's information we will integrate the news api and also the web circuit for real times of dates of the stocks now in the eight eight week we will see about the performance optimizations like uh, code splitting lazy loading or caching and at the end we will deploy this on this any of the platform like heroku and aws so in this presentation we have outlined the timelines of the stack and in this task that i have created here we can see that the first month was mainly focused on the front end part and learning about the apis and for the second month was the focused on the data visualization whatever we have extracted from the apis we have to show that using the using the d3.js and chart.js and we have to create the user authentication system and at the end we have deployed our website so here i have mentioned the references for this web for this documentation i have given the alpha vintage api pro that's a documentation and here i have mentioned the official websites of this of this text text so that is it from my side sir thank you i am open for the q&a okay i hope you are done with your presentation yes sir okay so the thing is uh, we need a ppt okay it was a document so we will consider it as a demo you will get the marks for the content but you will not get to make it so you need to create ppt because this is a presentation session and you need to present to ppt on this now you will say why do i need ppt so do you think in documentation it is necessary to include the q and a in the documentation if you share no. this with your team do you think uh, they will like it if you have q and a in at the bottom of the documentation you know right so this is why we need ppt as i said even if your ppt is only five slide three slide that is okay but make a ppt okay be dedicated to it make a habit of creating ppt when you are giving presentation it will help okay. you make your overall like you know experience of uh, the presentation much better as well as uh, work on your story part again right uh, expression was much better this time from the last time you have improved that is a good thing but again uh, in the story regard you need to improve and also uh, overall task can also be improved so let us say when you are saying uh, you have in the chart that we have created guard chart right so again uh, what what yes sir yeah, so in yeah. that uh, chart itself uh, you have percentage so let us say i'm working on your project then how do i know how much percentage uh, have i completed you know that is just a basic idea sir no um, we are sir. not talking about the basic idea the, the point of this project is to create a fully functional uh, project timeline that your teammates can follow and they can work on it after like just looking at the document they should know what is their task what's their role and if they have completed this much part this should be like you know percentage that they can mark as completed right because so, you have also included testing part right so if a developer is working if they have yeah. included the 50 part the 50 percent part let us say testing will not be like you know directly done if the developer is not created anything what will the tester test right the tester needs something to yeah. test, right? right? So you need some kind of uh, nomenclature to, like, you know, make it possible for developer to understand how much percentage they have created. And then we can say that if this much percentage task is done, then, then the tester can start working on the test, uh, writing test case as well as you know, uh, making test, right? As well as so in this project itself, we want it more in depth. So let us say in week one, what is the particular thing you are trying to achieve? Now we want it in like, you know, really in depth, like uh, you need to point out each and every particular thing. Let us say in, if you have features in the front end, what you are trying to achieve in the front end, what are the features will be there in the front end and each and every part of your front end, how much weighted it will, uh, it will like, you know, carry with respect to the percentage. So let us say if you have one of the number that will be 20 percent task done if we have worked on the chart that will be 44 50 uh, percent uh, task right so be more specific on it 
so that if I look at your uh, document, I have given you three people that will be working on the project. They should be able to understand what their task is and how much they need to complete in the particular period of time. Okay. Okay. So overall task can be improved. Work on your story part. Explanation is really great. Okay. Uh, but uh, there was also some network issue at the start. So the, the intro was not very well done. Okay. So we we'll fix that. Uh, also, your conclusion can be improved. Okay. And again, okay. QA is just there uh, saying QA, so that will be not uh, that is not a good thing. Also, try to include the your email address at the end. You will have the QA, you might as well just include the email address. And you can see if anyone has any question, they can contact you on the email. That is a good thing to include your email, right? So I have uh, edited the starting. At the end, you should add it. Okay. So at the start is good thing. At the okay. start, we basically add it to tell, like, you know, your viewers that these are the people who have worked on this project. And at the end, we add it to like you know the email of people who they can contact for any queries. So there are two places where you add email. At the start, you add email of people then who have worked on the project. At the end, you can add email of people who can be asked for. Okay. That would be much better because if you have added in the start, so let us say I am also working on this project, but I am not taking any question answer. You are the person who will take it. So if my email and your email are also there, people might also email me, right? Yes, okay. So, uh, that is why it is important to add it in there. Okay. Uh, it was okay, it was okay. fine, but it can improve. As you do more tasks, it will become much more like you know, it will make more, more, more sense for you and you will perform much better. Okay. Just to work okay. on these things, and next time it is preferable if you have PPT, right? No, okay, sir. See, like uh, Only you can start. Time I have created this document, sir. So no, I think the thing is, I think... Uh, okay, the thing is, you can start with PPT and then move on to the document and give your expression in the document itself, and then come back to PPT and give conclusion and end the session. Okay, that will be okay. much more preferable. That will look like a presentation session, right? Okay. It is fine, but the uh, opportunity is much more preferable. Okay. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Sure. Yeah, thank you. Okay, then we will move on to Sigani. Hello, sir. Am I audible? Are you are audible. Okay. So is my screen right? My camera visible? Yeah, your camera is visible. So So my screen is visible, right? Yeah, it is visible. Can you tell me the name? The name of your task? The name of my task is user research, competitive analysis, and information architecture for stock market trading application. Yeah, interesting. Okay. So uh, good evening, sir. Good evening, everyone. So today I'll be presenting on the topic user research, competitive analysis, and information architecture for stock market trading application. So these are the contents that I'll be discussing today. Uh, first is user research. So in that, I'll be discussing demographic-based target audience for stock market trading application, and also traders' expectation on trading application. Then I'll be discussing on competitive analysis and information architecture. So coming to user research, first what I, what I have to say is that while designing any application, the designer should be aware of the users or the target audience. So for the stock market trading application, Let's see who all are the target audience. First is individual investors. This can be beginners or advanced investors. And then traders. This include active traders who go for uh, profit making in short term uh, price fluctuations. Now, next is the long term investors. They buy and uh, hold the stocks for like years or even decades. So they are interested in portfolio tracking and dividend reinvestment. Next is financial professionals. So this include uh, uh, financial advisors. This include financial advisors and the brokers, wealth managers who help the clients with the uh, with some who help the clients for their uh, investment decisions. And next is the institutional investors. This include uh, mutual funds, hedge funds, and pension funds. So coming to demographic based target audience. So let's first see what is meant by demographics. So demographics are statistics that describes the population and their characteristics. So let's see the target audience based on the demographics. So first factor we select is age. So 
so based on age we have like young professionals middle age investors and retired investors coming to education and income we have highly educated individuals and also high income earners next is the geographic location uh, the stock market trading application based on the studies it shows that it has a higher rate of adoption in the urban centers than the rural areas and next is experience level so this can be categorized into two beginner beginners as well as advanced investors so beginners will look forward for the simple and clear interface which helps them to have a fresh start and learn things easily and they also like expect to have some educational materials in the application and for advanced uh, investors they look forward for uh, advanced tools and features for the technical analysis and also for the investments now coming to level of risk it can be uh, categorized into two so it includes conservative investors who look forward for the low risk investments and also uh, aggressive traders these are uh, risk tolerant individuals who like go for intraday trading now coming to traders expectation traders like, users will have an expectation on the application so first thing is the application should have a user interface which is user friendly which is simple and clear to use next is the real time market data the application should contain the real time market data and should be updated regularly and the ex application is expected to have a advanced charting and technical tool and analysis tool also there should be efficient order execution and trade management and also there should be an efficient risk management system for the application so coming to the competitive analysis here i'll be taking three uh, currently active applications like one is the grow application then kite by zeroda and also upstocks so this is a general comparison uh, on the three applications like you can see uh, compares the charges and also the app downloads and ratings so uh, zeroda have an account maintenance charge whereas upstocks and grow does not have and there's an account opening charges for zeroda and upstocks whereas grow application is free and coming to intraday equity intraday futures and options Uh, the charges are almost same for all applications, and the app download is ten million plus for the Rodan Grow, and these are the ratings taken from uh, Play Store. Now let's see. Let's go for our our topic of interest, that is the user interface. So let's go for the interface comparison of the three applications. So this is the interface of the Grow application, desktop interface. So when I use this first. what i felt is it was a bit difficult to find the things that we are searching for like uh, it, this mostly shows the general thing like the index prices most bought on grow and all so what an investor needs at a glance is like he should see his uh, orders or positions holdings and all the account details so even though the investment details and all are given here for our orders or positions we have to go to this account menu so i find it i found it a bit difficult to find the things when we are using it for the first time next let's see the interface of upstocks so this is the user interface of upstocks here it was i find it okay because the index prices are shown here and also the watch list is being here and also there's a tab given to switch between the positions holdings and orders and the chart is being shown here it was fine and next is the interface of kite which is by zeroda so this was the interface which i felt like one of the easiest and which the beginners can use because it is easy to understand the things like the watch list is fixed here and you can add the search bar is given you can add the stocks here and you can you also have a tab to switch between the watch list and also here you can see the nav bar which contains dashboard orders holdings and all so you can switch between the categories here easily and also account settings is given the details of the equity market is here commodity market and holdings everything is shown in the dashboards the front page itself so i found it easy for the especially for the beginners it will be easier so based on the studies which i have made uh, seasoned investors uses zeroda mostly and also the those individuals who start to invest they mostly prefer upstocks or zeroda now coming to information architecture Let's first see what is meant by information architecture. So it is a structural design of a shared information environment. It uh, it focuses on organizing, structuring, and labeling contents in an effective and sustainable way. So this is information ar architecture which I have made. 
for my stock market application like in the home page it has made three mainly three categories one is watch list dashboard and main menu so under watch list you can see the list of the stocks that have been added to the watch list and also watch list switching tab like you can make uh, more than one watch list so you can switch between that watch list now coming to the dashboard section you will have the account details your holdings details and also the graphs the peaking index price movements or maybe the movement of your investment uh, amount now coming to the main menu you will have the orders menu positions menu holdings menu and also account settings now information architecture is how content is structured within a system to help the user succeed so in this definition you can see the word content includes the information in the form of text images audio or video and also tasks and actions that the users can take now the word structured uh, in this definition means how the content is organized categorized and what labels are used and also what's the actual language and what are the search functionalities now the word system in this uh, definition obviously you all may know that it refers to the overall app or the website and the users it refers to who is coming into the system and what their goals are now let's see what are the considerations while constructing an information architecture so we for a stock market application mainly it is a main menu and navigation then next is the dashboard then we'll go uh, next is the market data which is most important thing and trading tools is uh, obviously needed for the analyzing the chart and also doing the technical analysis then account management help and support and also settings and preferences now ba uh, based on the discussed information architecture i have uh, created a wireframe of the interface so this is the wireframe which i have made so here there is a space given to uh, display the index price here there is a navigation bar given as i have discussed in order to switch between different categories like orders uh, uh, positions holdings and all and here you will get the account settings which shows the fund details and the trading account details here is a search bar to search for the stocks and you can add that to uh, the watch list and this area given here will display the stocks that have been added to the watch list and this is a tab to switch between different watch lists and this is the dashboard area where you can be see the equity account details like uh, opening balance closing balance and also the available margin and if the user have uh, is logged into commodity market then the commodity market details will be given here and if you have some long term or swing trade if he is doing some swing trade or have some long term investments it will be shown in the holdings details so this is all about the information architecture uh, that's all from my part sir so if you have any questions i'm ready to answer else uh, thank you sir here i can too okay uh Okay, so good presentation, I would say. Okay, uh, there was no conclusion slide, if I believe. Yes, sir. Uh, was there a conclusion slide? So, is it can you, uh, can you show Hello? me the conclusion slide? Can you show me like, the con oh, conclusion slide? Conclusion slide? Yeah. Uh, just a minute, sir. So, like, so there is no separate conclusion side. Like I have concluded it in this wireframe. No, yeah, you should create a conclusion side separately. That will be much more preferable. Okay. In the conclusion side itself, you can like you know just uh, make a summary of your entire presentation or make a like you know key point of your presentation. Uh, add the key points such as uh, important findings or. Or let us say, what are your like you know uh, main things that you could be able to find through this uh, research? Okay, that will sure, be sure. preferable. And also, uh, your PPT formatting can be improved overall. Okay, let us say you have wireframe and you have the image, so try to increase the size of the image, and also wireframe can be in the main part. It will much more better look. And also somewhere here, uh, getting to go on uh, slide, uh, go to third or fourth slide. Uh, we'll go the uh, bottom next one. Uh, slide number eight. Yes, sir. Slide number eight. Eight. Okay. Uh -huh. 
so there is this image and then uh right so there was also another image like uh, they were overlapping on each other that was yes, I sir, first and second so that should not i just be, made it uh, for the purpose of presenting like giving an animation everything yeah but uh, the background was visible right so try to like you know remove the background so that the only your main object of focus is visible yes yes so work on your ppt formatting okay that can be improved and more yes, sure. like your, uh, your story can be improved and also in the i think you needed to make uh, research on different type of users that may be use your site right so you have given good uh, like you know, uh, introduction on different type of users. So let's say some of them, uh, some of them may be beginners or some of them may be long term investors, right? So, and based on this, you were supposed to create a user, right? So you need to okay. keep in mind what kind of user you have, and then based on that, you can like uh, make a good UI that will be like you know better for all of them. So. I believe your overall content can also be improved. Okay, it was too high level. Okay. We sure, need more sure. uh, in depth uh, content. Okay, we need more low level content on uh, things like uh, user research and based on the user taste. Like, uh, let us say when you are conducting a survey, you need to like you know ask your user like what kind of. Uh, let us say you have three websites, Guru and other three things, right? So you need to like you know, ask them what kind of uh, interface they think is easy and what are the improvement that your uh, viewers think uh, can be better with respect to the website, right? And based on that, you can create conclusion on like if there is this kind of user, then this is the interface that is right, and we can improve our interface by following this kind of thing. Okay. Sometimes you may or may not follow a particular user stage while we are like you know making the interface because you want to make an interface so that all type of target audience are like you know, they are able to use your interface. That will be much more preferable. And your user design looked much more like zero, I think. No. Hello. Yeah, uh, so, so sorry, sir, like my internet connection. Will yeah, sure. Uh, so your wireframe that you have included that look like it is uh, similar to the Jirodha's uh, user interface. Yes, sir. Uh, so like uh, I found it more easier. That is why I have taken the idea from but, there. But uh, that is the case study on the particular design, right? So what we want is uh, what you think uh, might be like, you know, improvements or what you okay. think can be better for the design. So we want yes, your wireframe, not like, you know, wireframe that is uh, you are getting from the That looks okay, like, sure. you know, really close to the zero. Yes, that is why I'm asking. Oh. Next time, yes, sir, I'll work on, that, on your wireframe. Also, can you show me your wireframe? Okay, I'll show you. So being in UI design team, you need to like, you know, explain things more you know, like, you know, user uh, UI design way. So let us say in the wireframe, you need to explain in the indexes place what you are expecting it to be, what, uh, like, you know, uh, what will be the dimensions of those objects, right? So let us say I can see you have scroll bar. right? So it yes. is a scroll bar. Um, there are two scroll bar. So in the design, will you be like, you know, considering the scroll bar? So during the design process, are you going to keep this in mind that there will be a scroll bar and so that it is computed before or it is computed after? Because if there are scroll bar, the content size may increase or decrease, right? So yes, sir. Ultimately, like if uh, more number of stocks are being added to the watch list, then the scroll bar will be there in order to see the yeah. whole stocks. So there is there is like you know height of your content and there is width of the content, right? So there is height, the, the height uh, there is like you know the scroll bar, right? So height we will it change dynamically based on the number of stocks that you have, right? But uh, what about the width? So let us say if you have a scroll bar, will uh, will it like you know impact the width of your overall company? Or like you, uh, I've designed this wireframe, keeping in mind that there are more contents there and width is fixed. So that is why I've given a whole vertical scroll bar there. That means you are already keeping in mind that there will be a scroll bar, right? 
But yes. let us say yes. there are less number of stocks and we don't need the school. Board. So uh, are you going to like you know, do you we need the, that one? Uh, no, it's that not needed. Uh, so if it is not exceeding this space given, then the scroll bar is not needed, sir. So what about the width? Uh, will it be fixed or do you take entire space the scroll bar in here? So width will be fixed, like I have designed it. For a yeah, fixed width, uh, do some. Like, like if you know, more contents are there, then it will be added uh, vertically downward. Yeah, because sometimes what we see is when a scroll bar is there, let us say if a content is can accommodate four things uh, in vertically, but uh, let us say uh, like you know horizontally it can accommodate four things, but if a scroll bar uh, gets added, it can only like you know accommodate three elements. The fourth element will go to the next one because the width changes. Yes, there sir. are some problems like that. So see if uh, you get this kind of problem or not. Okay, uh, you need to clarify these things. Make uh, keep yes. in mind what it will be there. But again, this kind of things should be kept in mind when you are actually developing on the project. Okay, but okay, again, sure. uh, you should like you know explain every component that you have. And also uh, the wireframe, only it can be improved. See, it is good, but it looks much more like you know. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll so work on that. Yeah, yeah for, for sure. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, next time, try to do the computer side. That will be much better. In the conclusion, you can just simply like you know conclude the you know, overall survey results also. That will be much better. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Sure, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay, then we move on to uh. Good evening, sir. Uh, sir, I had a doubt. Actually, yeah. I don't have a presentation. I yeah, had a sure. doubt. Uh, yeah. So I joined as ML and DL intern. At, on 16 June, and I was allotted a task on 18th. Uh, it was a future location prediction system. Sir, so from the past two days, I was trying to get access to Trello, but I am not able to. I tried to contact the uh, chat team, technical chat team, twice or thrice. Yeah, they said that to. they'll add, but uh, they haven't added me yet. Yeah, sure. Do want to? Uh, I'm giving you a link. Yes, sir. So this is again a Trello link, but this is a public link. Okay, this is a public board, a board where you can only like you know see the uh, board. So I will ask the okay. sir to add the data set in this board so that you can directly download and view it. Okay, you don't need to join the board for to access the data set. Okay, sir. I sir, have and it in uh, the chat box and also preferable you can share your email with me. I will also share it with them if it is not possible for them to add yeah. the data set in this board. Okay, so sir, can I uh, share it now in the chat? Yeah, share it to the host. Okay, sir. And also, sir, uh, where uh, do I have to upload the recording, the demo video? So, sir, in the uh, mail, it was written to upload it on Trello. No, no. Uh, you know, upload it in your technical support chat. Okay. And preferably uh, give make a presentation and you can also like, you know, give demonstration in the presentation itself. That will be fine. But okay. So all your task uh, progress, upload it in the technical support chat. And you don't have to wait for confirmation from the their side. Okay. Between 5 to 6 p.m. They check all the chats that we have got from 10 to 5 and we can okay. Okay. So you okay. can just upload uh, it. Yeah, sir. So one last doubt. So my deadline for the project was 22nd, but uh, since I was not able to complete, so when would be like the next deadline? If uh, it is possible, you can give, uh, give the presentation tomorrow or I can like give you time for 27th. Okay, sir. So try to complete it by Sunday or uh, Monday. Okay. Then click on schedule presentation on Tuesday, give the presentation. Okay, okay sir. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, Vishal. So we'll move on to
I can't able to uh, share a screen. Uh, the setting is enabled for sharing the screen. Try sharing the screen. Try sharing your entire screen. Click on the screen that you want to share. Yeah, sir, I see. Wait, My screen is visible. Yeah, we got turned on camera. Okay, wait. Is it, is it visible? Yeah, it is visible, but you have zoomed in too much. So I can only see the upper part of your PPP. Okay. No visible. Still, I can see the magnified glass. See if you're using magnified glass. Try zooming out. So, wait a minute. Oh, I can see half of your screen. So I can see Kashishari, task and group, and that's it. Now I can see better to buy a wonder phone. Okay, now it is. Yeah, go. go to the next slide. You know? Yeah, so go to the So first of all, my, uh, my name is Kashishari, and my task is to work with project services. And my project name is stock trading application and my group is Java. Okay, sir. Before starting a present, uh, before starting a presentation, uh, first we need to understand what is a stock. This is the content. First, we uh, explain a stock, uh, then a stock trading application and types of stocks, technology, Java, API, also vintage API, IDs, NetBeans, and conclusion references. Okay, so what is a stock? Represent ownership in a company and is bought and sold in financial market. It means a stock is a share. Uh, a stock is a share in the ownership of a public and a private company. For example, uh, like a pastry piece in a chocolate cake. Okay, sir. What is the uh, the uh, after that uh, we need to understand stock trading application. Welcome to our stock trading application where investing meets innovation. We are really a real time. Market data in your uh, initiative tools and seamless writing feature. We empower individuals to navigate the complex world of stock with confidence. Basically, there, uh, this is a platform where the stockholder can purchase and um, sell the stock. Uh, if any company, uh, if there is a uh, many companies exist like Angel One. Uh, up stock grow up there where we uh, you, uh, stockholder can purchase and uh, sell the stock. Types of stock, common stock, preferred stock, growth stock, value stock, dividend stock, blue chip stock, small cap stock, mid cap stock, large cap stock, cyclical stock, defensive stock, panic stock. This is the mayor. This is some type of stock where we can exist. In, in our project, we uh, use the some technologies like Java. You are uh, using uh, Java uh, and, and the next one is Alpha Vantage API. And second one, uh, NetBeans. Third one is NetBeans. So, what is Java, sir? Java is a powerful and widely used programming language for developing stock trading applications. 
it offers a robust uh, ecosystem extensive library uh, and frameworks like spring uh, hibernate making it suitable for building uh, secure scalable and high performance application that integrate with market data providers and trading platform so that uh, i tell uh, what it means of robust robustness is the capacity of a computer system to handle the error during execution and manage the incorrect input of the data it's uh, basically like java is a independent uh, in the platform independent language where we, uh, we uh, which we used to uh, which we used to develop the large uh, large uh, expensive software uh, easy it like easily to uh, using java easily to develop uh, use easy to java use, easy to develop the software using java so next one what is api api is the application program interface our set of rules or protocols that allow different uh, software application to communicate and inter, uh, interact with each other other they define how different software components should interact enabling developer to access and use specific functionalities or data from external system or service in their own application It means uh, api is the Acronym for application programming interface, a software intermediary that allows two application to talk to each other. APIs are an accessible way to access and share data within and across within across organizations uh, within uh, within and across organizations. There is some API exists. We use a Alpha Vantage API for making a stock trading application. Alpha Vantage API is a financial market data provider that offers a wide range of real time and historical market data, including stock quotes, technical indicators, and fundamental data for integration into application. So why we uh, so why we use API uh, Alpha Vantage API? Alpha Vantage API provides enterprise enterprise grade financial market data. Through a set of powerful and developer-friendly APIs and spreadsheets. So, what is ADI? ADI is an integrated development environment or software application that provides a comprehensive set of tools for software development. They typically include code editors, debugging capabilities, build systems, and other features to streamline the development process. So, uh, it means. ID is ID is a platform where we write a uh, where we write a code of uh, Java and execute it. So, uh, out about NetBeans, NetBeans uh, is NetBeans is an API is a set of Net NetBeans is a ID software is a set of libraries where we can uh, user can uh, develop the software uh, like a stock uh, we make a stock capital trading application like using library uh, using button. Uh, using our uh, labels, we uh, we use in the uh, we use this software use uh, for front end and back end work. Basically, this is a uh, this is the IDE software provided by a uh, NetBeans IDE for Java development. It allows to developers to extend and customize the IDE IDE, create plugins, build application using the NetBeans platform. This is a conclusion. Uh, in conclusion, using Java for stock trading application provides a robust and a scalable solution. Why it's robust? Because uh, uh, it uh, this, uh, use it, uh, by, uh, use Java. Why we use? Because robust uh, it easily provides uh, where we can find the uh, we, 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 it, uh, ro using Java where we find easily error and debugging. It's, uh, uh, with its expensive libraries and frameworks, Java enables developer to create uh, secure. High performance application that integrate with the market data provides and trading platforms, empowering users to participate in the stock market application efficiently. The, uh, these are the references we can use for making a presentation. YouTube, Wikipedia, and ChatGPT. Thank you, sir. You are free to ask any question by my, by my mail. Okay, so I hope your presentation is done. Yes, right. Okay. See, uh, the way you have structured your presentation is uh, good, but you need to work on your uh, explanation skill as well as the overall story. So, your explanation was mostly reading from the side, so that is not uh, good. Okay. So, what I would recommend is next time make it point wise and what you want to say make a script out of it and you can add notes in a ppt and you can 
take it from there and that is also fine. You can make important points that will not say make the points and that will be much better. And again, yes. the your conclusion can also be improved. So you can Java enable developer to create side purpose, how you are going to achieve this. And also when we have uh, stopped running your application, you need to like, you know, explore more on how you will be able to create this application. That wasn't really like, you know, well explained. It was mostly on the high level, like uh, you were just uh, explaining the things uh, such as uh, what uh, API you are going to use or something. But uh, there was no like, you know, good expression on what about your actual project that you are going to create, like a uh, prototype or how you are going to achieve a particular feature. Like you need to more, you do more in-depth research on it, okay? Again, uh, in the references side, if you are like, you know, adding uh, website links, so try to add uh, more better links, okay? So that if I click on that link, I should have a, a article or something that I can follow and see yeah, the thing that okay, you sir. have added in your presentation is good or it is valuable, okay? So okay. fixed uh, references can also be improved. Other than that, CPPT was good, but uh, there was some problem with the you know, formatting. You have to try to improve the formatting. See, in conclusion, you have a paragraph, right? So instead of paragraph, try to convert it into a point. So make a point of, of high performance application and then other point of like, you know, simplicity or scalability, and then explain those points. That will make it much easier for you to explain and much easier for you to understand. Right? So you are explaining something. I will be able to look at the presentation. I can see, yeah, that is a scalable thing written. You are explaining something about scalability. I can catch up on it, right? What you are trying to explain. Okay. Much better. So try to improve next time. I hope you will be improved. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. So can I leave now? Yeah, sure. Thank you so much. Okay, so next is Tejal uh, Patel. Am I audible, sir? Yeah, you are audible. So, uh, what is the name of your task? Hello? One second. Is my screen visible, sir? Yeah, uh, just to make a screen. Yeah, Good evening, everyone. My name is Tejal Patil. I am from Android Development Group. My task name is Software Requirement Specification Interactive Stock Analysis Mobile Application. Let's start. So in the introduction, a SRS document that is Software Requirement Specification. As its name suggests, it is a, a document that uh, contain uh, requirements of customers that specified by uh, stakeholders or businessmen. So it includes functional as well as non-functional non requirements. So uh, in the previous presentation, we have seen the software development life cycle. So we understood each and every phase of the software uh, development life cycle. So in the very first phase uh, in the requirement gathering, we have seen, uh, we collected all the requirements from the customers. And in the second phase, in the analysis phase, we analyze that uh, those uh, requirements and we make a document of it. So this is, uh, that document is called software requirement document. This is the uh, phase where we created software requirement specification document. And in next phase, we will pass it on design phase where the designer will understand all the SRS document and make designs of the uh, project. So here uh, we make sure that we, uh, the software requirement specification document should be well formatted so that the designer should able to make a good application. So uh, SRS document of stop application. So the purpose of SRS document, the purpose of this is to provide an online stock trading service to enable its client to make trades via the computer. So next is a fun functional requirements. The functional requirements are those requirements which are specified the users. So first user requirements. 
uh, user should be able to register and create an account and second user should be able to log in securely using their credential next software requirement uh, to develop stock uh, trading application we are using adalo app so adalo is a no code platform app and adalo's data management ui design and integration capabilities will be utilized here next is a uh, hardware requirement the cpu memory and system we are using here so the for cpu the lowest processor type required is uh, intel core i5 but anything above that is highly recommended for memory for storage ring uh, for an hard disk drive 1 terabyte of storage is required and the system must interface with a standard output system keyboard and mouse to interact with the system so next is a non functional requirements so the non functional requirements are those requirements that are not uh, given by the user but being a good developer you should have to add this uh, in your projects so it includes performance scalability and first for the data storage and security as it is a stock data application uh, this includes a large uh, data uh, uh, like it's uh, includes a data set of stock uh, price uh, and uh, it is a, uh, it includes a user personal data so we have to uh, take care of their personal data uh, personal information so in the very first the uploaded stock data set and user data should be securely stored and encrypted and second appropriate security measures should be impl implemented to protect user information next performance and scalability the application should perform efficiently provide smooth data visualization and analysis even with large data set so as it is a uh, stock data application includes large data set we cannot uh, we cannot easily understand very large data set by seeing uh, only seeing that so we are using data visualization feature of adalo so your uh, application should uh, should be very smooth and the data visualization uh, uh format or uh, charts will, will be very clear to understand by user so that uh, so that they can take a uh, proper decision next the system should be scalable to accommodate in increasing user demand and growing uh, growing data set so it in uh, this is a stock application so it's need to update every stock price data so it is uh, the system should be very scalable to uh, accept new changes so at the conclusion a uh, sris document is the most important document of any software development project because uh, it is a base for further development and testing process it also includes functional as well as uh, non functional requirements a good sris helps in creating system that is bug free and reduce development cost and the third point uh, an sris also act as an agreement between the client and supplier so it gives a confidence to the client that the requirements are documented correctly so these are the following references list that i have referred for this project so if you want to ask any question you can thank you so i hope your presentation is done yes sir okay see the content that you have is good but it is still more high level we need more in-depth content on the on the project services so the project services was uh, it was okay it like explained various uh, aspect of a project but it didn't really like you know explain how you are going to create the application and uh, the srs was also not uh, shown uh, i believe you need to create a document right the srs document yes sir okay. Uh, have you created a document? No, sir. This was only. Okay. Yeah, sure. No problem. Uh, so, be more uh, specific next time. Okay, try to do more in depth content to focus more on, like, you know, the, the actual development process also. So, in the SRS, the point of SRS is to, like, you know, lay out the design and development process of the project. Right. So, okay, sir. Try to do more in-depth uh, research. See, the content was good. You are going in a right direction. It just needs to be more, like, you know, deeply researched. Okay, sir. So, next time, try to do more in-depth research. Other than that, it was fine. You have touched on really great points, such as scalability and performance, which is a really great thing. 
not uh, other people who have given the same presentation, they have not really like you know, touched on this kind of project. So you are going in the right direction. We just need more in-depth content. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Thank, Thank you, sir. sir. Thank you. Okay, then the uh, next is Kamlesh Mahi. Hello, Kamlesh, can you turn your camera? Yes, sir. One minute. Uh, I can't see your name in the list of presentation that was shared. Can you give me your email? Yes, sir. One minute. Please provide your email. Actually, sir, my task last date is 22 June, which is today. Uh, it is okay if it is today. So, do one thing click on schedule presentation. Okay. Uh, so then, sir, I will. Yeah, don't worry, you will not receive any negative information because I have seen you have created PPT, right? So, do one thing click on schedule presentation, then you will be scheduled for this presentation. Tomorrow at 7 p.m. I will take your presentation before everyone else. So, okay, you don't have to wait in line. And then we can have to do your presentation tomorrow, right? Because in the email itself, you must have received the link of completed presentation, right? So if your name is not in the list, then I will not be able to process it. And your presentation will not be considered completed, okay? So click on schedule presentation. Your presentation will be scheduled for tomorrow. Then you can give your presentation tomorrow, okay? Okay, thank you. Sir. Yeah, thank you. So join on 7 p.m. tomorrow. Right. So we will move on to Ravi Singh. Uh, yeah, um, am I audible? Sir? Yeah, you are audible. You are scheduled for over your project services. Uh, sorry, sir. Uh, you, what is your task? Uh, stop market, uh, stop trading application. The task name is over your project services, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, is my screen set up? Yeah, please turn on camera. Okay, sir. No, I, I'm visible yeah, and my screen is visible. Yeah. Uh, okay, sir. Uh, so, very good evening, sir. Uh, my name is Rahul Sen, and I'm from Sagar, Madhya Pradesh. And uh, the topic of the day uh, just presented by me uh, is the stock trading application. Uh, and I'm a, a Java developer. Uh, so, uh, very first, uh, moving to the introduction about the stock trading application, uh, I just want to uh, um, produce some name. Uh, like uh, Rakesh Junjunwala, uh, Hashad Mehta, and uh, uh, Warren Wafis. Uh, these are the uh, names of such uh, investors uh, who uh, make so much money, uh, millions and billions of money from uh, stock market. Uh, so from uh, uh, stock market, uh, we can earn so many monies. Uh, so uh, that's why uh, we are need uh, stock trading applications. So now uh, I want to, uh, uh, give an introduction about the stock market application. Uh, what is uh, what is it? So the stock uh, trading application is a software uh, that uh, allows users to buy and so uh, sell stocks uh, in real time. So uh, with a using a user friendly interface uh, and the um, stock trading application was uh, built using the Java and different type of uh, technical statics. Um, uh, moving to the next slide, uh, uh, actually, what was the goal of the primary goal of our uh, application? So uh, here I am uh, discuss some uh, goals of the uh, uh, of my uh, trading applications, like uh, way of trading. How actually we want to uh, we need to uh, trade 
so we can earn a uh, so lot of money from them and uh, if we, we are uh, making a uh, good invest in the good stocks uh, we need a market data uh, what was the market data that uh, in uh, the application allows users uh, to access real time stock market uh, actually what is the data which is uh, currently in the market uh, which stock is goes up and which stocks is goes down uh, so this is very important uh, when we invest any uh, money in the market uh, now the, the portfolio of the application the application allows users to uh, view their portfolios and uh, execute uh, instantly so i think uh, this is the main impact uh, um, main important part of the uh, application like uh, uh, execute instantly. Uh, for example, that uh, today uh, uh, the market of uh, my cement, my sem cement, uh, is go going to be increased. But uh, we have no idea about that. Uh, today is the market uh, is goes uh, goes up. Uh, we are not taking uh, a step to uh, stop uh, uh, buy their stock. So uh, execute instantly. Uh, instant is the major part of the applications. So uh, the uh, the next slide. Uh, here are some key features that we need to be uh, implemented in our uh, applications, uh, like the real time applications, uh, advanced charting tools, uh, news alerts, and uh, customized uh, customized uh, watch list, uh, security and privacy, uh, customer supports. Uh, these are actually the key features uh, that is needed to be implemented in our uh, in our applications. So. Uh, in upcoming slides, uh, I will uh, show you uh, one by one uh, the uh, the key features. So, uh, actually, was uh, what was the technical stacks we needed to implement the software uh, trading applications? Like uh, in the pr uh, front end, uh, we are using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript for making our uh, our front end uh, website, and uh, uh, in the back end. Uh, we are using a MongoDB for storing data, uh, Node.js, JavaScript, and news APIs uh, for getting in uh, news from the uh, market. So, uh, the what uh, what is the real time uh, stock trading? So, actually, the real time uh, stock trading codes uh, refers to the instantaneous display of current stock prices and related information. Uh, like actually, uh, real time stocks. Uh, here you can see uh, one. Uh, I have uh, here. I am uh, taking an example of uh, one website uh, that is investing.com. Uh, you can see some name of the uh, stocks like gold, silver, copper, platinum. These are the stock. Uh, these are the uh, product uh, uh, which. Uh, uh, in in the month of uh, last price of the uh, last uh, price uh, high price low price uh, and all of the uh, data uh, in the applications uh, so uh, here are some uh, key aspects of uh, real stocks actually what are aspects we uh, uh, asking for the uh, real time stocks so price information which is the most important uh, for the application like uh, in which time, what uh, price of the stocks uh, is very important, uh, and market depth. What is the market depth of the of our uh, of the product? Uh, time and sales data, ticker symbol, uh, company information, and uh, market indices. So uh, moving to the next uh, advanced charting tools. Uh, what was the advanced charting tools? Uh, actually, this uh, uh, this feature uh, provide us a better understanding of the uh, market. So advanced uh, charting tools are powerful features uh, offered by many financial platform and stock trading applications. Uh, and uh, here I'm uh, point out some uh, kind of charts like uh, multiple chart types, uh, drawing tools, chart overlays, uh, historical data and uh, back testing, uh, pattern, uh, pattern recognition. So that's all about the advanced charting tools. Uh, and you can see the financial charts here uh the product ups and downs and uh now comes to the news alerts uh, so uh, according to me that uh, news alerts is the uh, is uh, can we say one of the important part of the applications uh for example i want to uh, add a story uh, in this uh, uh, slide like uh, hindenburg report uh, 
the after the hindenburg organization uh, when uh, hindenburg organization uh, published a news uh, for the uh, on the adani adani group so the stock market has goes down all the product of the adani's goes down and uh, persons who are not aware of uh, this <coughs> of this uh, news so they are uh, getting loss uh, in the market so the news alerts is the very important part of the applications like if we are getting a news instantly then we can uh, uh, make a good decision to uh, get uh, to sell or buy our stocks and uh, here are uh, uh, how uh, how news alerts typically work in applications uh, different type of uh, news alerts uh, like uh, breaking news alerts personal uh, personalized uh, alerts save alerts uh, source selection click uh, through full articles and uh, uh, these all are about uh, uh, news alerts uh, seamless transaction is very important uh, the privacy of the uh, users who is using the application is very important uh, like uh, integration with payment gateways uh, users can fund their accounts uh, using credit card debit cards uh, via transfer or online wallet so, so the, because of uh, their essential uh, uh, essential information in the uh, in our database so it is uh, very important that uh, we should uh, have a uh, good security or privacy features in our applications. Uh, now, now coming to the benefits of the stock market, uh, uh, I think uh, this is the uh, important question of the that uh, what is the uh, benefits of the stock trading applications? Like if we are using a, a application, a stock trading application, so we can uh, uh, buy and sell any of the stock uh, instantly and uh, real-time data access that uh, we have uh, all the data in up-to-date uh, so we can uh, uh, buy and sell uh, instantly uh, secure transaction uh, and uh, uh, customize for uh, institutional and now coming to the conclusion what, uh, what was the conclusion of our uh, this topic so actually uh, we uh, the conclusion of the topic that we need to create a stock trading application as a uh, in full convenient way. The stock trading application is a powerful and versatile platform for online stock trading. Uh, the application must be in scalable, secure, and highly customizable, uh, customizable for uh, financial, uh, financial uh, institutional uh, of all sizes. Uh, here I have some uh, references where I use for uh, collecting those data and uh, which is presented in front of you. Sir. Uh, if there is any query, uh, I'm here to discuss discuss this, and you can ask me. Uh, here is my uh, email and WhatsApp number. Uh, you can contact with me. Thank you, sir. This is all about me. Yes, I hope your presentation is done. Okay. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. See, a really well-made presentation, I would say, for being your first presentation, this was a really, really well-made. Okay. Uh, okay. But you can improve your hook and overall flow of your presentation. See, the way you laid out your presentation was really good. You, like, you know, the benefits of uh, the stock trading. It was placed just at the right uh, place. The story was also great at the start. And then you had another story uh, for the news APA that was also good. But overall script can be improved. So what I would recommend is write a script of what you are going to say and then work on it, see if it can be improved and then give the presentation based on that script. So it will also help to like, you know, make your overall presentation smoother. Okay, The flow will be much better and the experience that your viewers will get, that will be much better. Okay, The content was really great, but it can be more in-depth. Okay, so overall development and design process can also be well explained, like you know, you explained in more in depth, like uh, how you are actually going to create the application. The conclusion can be improved in the conclusion. You basically had three points that they are not, but like you know, those are just not enough. We need more in depth conclusion. Like, um, if you have like you know, explained the overall design and urban process, then you will have something that you can put in the conclusion, right. You yes. didn't have more, more thing to like, you know, include in conclusion because the overall explanation was not up to the point, like, you know, it was not ended. So you will also not sure what to do. So that is the thing. 
But next time I believe it will be improvement because I can see the content was great. You have put in lot of hard work. So next time I want improvement. Okay. Okay, Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you, Robert. Uh, okay, so next up, I believe it is already 8.55. We will not be able to have any more presentation. Uh, so I believe only Hira Singh is there. Hira Singh is there. Yeah, uh, so can you tell me the name of your presentation? Uh, stock trading application. So it is already 8.56. Okay, we don't have any time to like take any more connection because I believe stock trading application is a really big project. So do one thing. Tomorrow join at 7 p.m. Okay, there will be no negative relation, don't worry. So tomorrow join at 7, we will have your presentation. Okay. Yes. See, like uh, tomorrow people will join. So before them, I will take your presentation and as well as one more guy was there on this. But your presentation is scheduled, so I will take your presentation at 7. After your, I will take Kamlesh presentation and then we'll move on to people who want to join tomorrow. Yes. Yeah. Uh, join tomorrow. Okay. So okay. we'll join tomorrow. Okay. Folks, sir. Thank so you. It is already 8.57. So you guys can leave now. Uh, thank you for joining. The mini presentation will be uh, done tomorrow. So uh, tomorrow join at 7 to 9 p.m. Uh, in the same link itself, uh, we have the link is same. Uh, we don't change the link. So we'll have your presentation in the tomorrow. Okay. So thank you for joining. We'll uh, end the session for today.